Hey guys, this lesson will be on energy and um, how to use the various equations. So first here I have a problem that's um, we have two people, one man that has like a, a boulder and another guy on kind of a lower part of or the other side of a valley. And what we want to do here is we're going to try to find the velocity at the bottom of the valley and the energy at the bottom of the valley and then the velocity when it reaches him and the energy when it reaches him. So let's get started. So first things first, um, our two energy equations we'll probably need for this are to find potential energy for this. Um, so that'll be m h g, which is mass times height times uh, gravity and kinetic energy which will be one half m v squared. So let's find our uh, potential energy of our ball at first. So our weight is a hundred kilograms and gravity for a simplicity matter we're just having it being 10 uh, meters per second squared and it is 20 meters in the air. So let's um, so let's find its potential energy. So we just multiply mass 100 kilograms times height which is 20 uh, meters times gravity which is 10 meters second squared okay so when you multiply all those together you will get 20,000 newtons because that is the um, unit for uh, energy so Right now, this ball has 20,000 newtons. So when we roll it down, slowly it will be converted to kinetic energy. So the way uh, conservation of energy works is that when it gets down, this energy will not change. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, and that's the number one principle we want to get through here. So the energy is just going to be the same thing as what it was on the top. So 20,000. Is the energy, but to find the velocity, um, we have to find out um, how much of this converted into kinetic energy. Since it's reached the bottom of the hill, it no longer has any more potential energy. So th this, all this energy has been converted into potential energy. So this twenty thousand has to equal one half mv squared. So then all we have to do is turn this into forty thousand. Take out this half. Uh, divided by m, which is 100, so we can take out these. So 400 equals v squared. So square root of that, v is 20. So our speed at the bottom of the hill is 20 meters per second. And that's what we find at the bottom of the hill. Now next part of the problem, it's rolling up to uh, the other guy, which is who, who is 10 meters above. So now it has to do some uh, work to get up there. So we talked about it as 20,000 newtons worth of energy. And to get this high, we need to calculate how much potential energy it will have up there. So to get that high, it will need to get 10 meters times its weight times acceleration. So it will be 20,000 newtons that we already have minus how much energy to get up there, which will be 10 meters per second squared gravity times 100 kg and 10 meters. Okay, and that'll end up equaling 10,000. So it'll just be 20,000 minus 10,000. So our ending um, ending kinetic energy will be 10,000. And we have to make that equal to 1 half mv squared to figure out the velocity. And just do uh, this uh, multiplying and stuff and it will end up to be about 14.14. Mm. So our ending velocity will be 14.14 meters per second. And this energy, like I said, energy is always conserved. It's never, uh, at least in this system, 
it it uh, won't be it can't be created or destroyed. So this will again be twenty thousand joules. The only difference between this energy is it's all in this here it's all in kinetic energy, here it's all in potential energy, and here it's about half and half. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. So here what we have is a person pushing this uh, block on an icy surface for 125 meters. And we have to figure out the velocity after he stops pushing it. So work equals force times distance. And remember, work is energy. So um, he'll be turning this all into kinetic energy. So the force is 25 newtons times the distance, which is 125 meters. We multiply that out, and that will end up being 3,125 joules. So this is how many joules we'll have, or how much joules he's doing on it. Now we have to figure out what the speed is at the end, because that's what they're asking. So we make that equal to 1 half mv squared, because that's the formula for um, kinetic energy. Um, and just do all this fun stuff. Um, let me just do this math real quick. 62.50. And you multiply it by 2. And divide it by its... Okay, so then we'll have to... So then we'll have 625 equals V squared. And that will end up equaling, our velocity will equal 25 meters per second. And that's how you find that. And then I have a follow-up question to that one, which is after, um, how far will it go if it's going on a rug, and the rug has frictional force of 5 newtons. So we just figured out last problem that when uh, we let go of it, it had 3,125 Newton's worth of energy, and we also know that energy is force times distance. Now, the friction is doing this force, 5 Newtons. So basically, all we have to do is take our energy, and it equals our friction, which is 5 Newtons, and we have to find out what distance it will go. So, and, uh, yeah, sorry, these are just, they, best, they mean the same thing. So we just divide this by 5, and um, that will end up equaling 625 meters. And that's how you figure that out. All right, I hope you've um, have gotten a lot from this energy. If, if you need any uh, more help with energy problems or have any energy questions or any physics questions, uh, please just drop me a line or... Um, let me know what you need and I'll be happy to get it done for you and make a video for you. Alright, I'll see you later.